What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another minifig showcase. If you enjoy what you see today, remember to hit that like and subscribe because today I have for you Watt Tambor from Big Kid Bricks. Last week, Matthew Bray correctly identified this, and if you've never seen the original video where that music from last week comes from, you absolutely should. It will be linked down below, and it's only like a minute and a half long. And honestly, it's a lot better than this minifig. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't really like a bad interpretation of Watt Tambor. If you look at it, you can easily tell who this is. There's a decent amount of printing for the robes on the front, and an entire custom molded piece as well for the metallic parts of Watt Tambor. It's very clear that a lot of thought went into this, but at the same time, it almost looks like BKB decided to do the front and then forgot to do the rest. Because outside of what you see on the the front here, there are literally no other details anywhere. That's it. There's literally nothing else. Nothing on the sides, on the arms, or the back at all. So this is definitely one of those custom figs that's meant to look like an official LEGO piece, and I get that there is a full market for that. Like I said, this guy doesn't really look bad, it's just not how I prefer it. I really would have liked if there was printing on the sides, and I don't really care about the back, but at least make it look like a more complete figure. Especially because someone buying this has to pay a full $30, and at that point I am definitely expecting a higher quality product. The custom molded piece is really nice, but it's just not enough. But with that said, no one else currently makes a ready-to-go Watt Tambor. There are kits available similar to what Nate's Minifigs does, but this is the only one where you don't have to paint it yourself or anything like that, it's just straight up ready. The printing that they do have on the torso is pretty good, I just wish an equal amount of care was put into the plastic molded part there to at least give it some more definition and not look so flat. It's just so weird to have such an awesome and unique character and not have anything really to say about it. There's just not much here unfortunately. So what I will say is that I actually forgot I do have one more Avatar minifigure to show off and that will be coming next week. So I guess you can say that he will be the last airbender. As for Watt Tambor, there's only one more thing to do. I want to send a huge thank you to all my patrons who really help make videos like this possible and give a special shout out to Jonathan. If you want to join them, you can do so at the link in the description down below or check out my Instagram and Discord. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.